So I've been asked to do a video on what do you do after you've installed dev mode and got it all set up. More specifically, people are asking, how do you install the applications and the emulators on the Xbox? And then of course, how do you prepare that external hard drive or SSD so you can put all your BIOS files and ROMs on it? Well, in this video, we're going to be doing just that. So without further delay, let's dive in. So you've got dev mode all set up and then of course you can go to the web address that the Xbox One or Series S and X sets up ready to transfer those files. Now taking a look at this website and there'll be a link in the description below you can see all the different applications that you can download from there and install on the Xbox. Now in this video we're going to be concentrating on one thing and one thing only and that's emulation more specifically the PlayStation 2 emulation. So you've got the applications you need you know what you want to put on there you've got your ROMs your BIOS files etc. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the PC and the Xbox and we're going to jump between the two as we're doing different things on either. Now before we do any of that here's a quick message from today's sponsor 4D Dig. Big shout out to 4D Dig for sponsoring today's video. So content creators have you ever been working on a video and then realize all the footage has been corrupt? You might think it's game over but it's not because the amazing team over at 4D Dig have made some really cool software and what it can actually do is repair those video files if there's artifacting and glitching and of course if they're not playing at all and it's so easy to add the clips and hit repair all. So don't panic when you see messages like this because you will be able to recover all those videos or if you have a little section that's glitchy like this you can completely remove it and now the video's perfect. Now I don't know what I'd have done without this software, it saved the day more than once. And of course you can't always just reshoot a clip, especially if it's a wedding video. So head on over to 4D Dig today, there's links in the description and I just want to give them a massive thank you for sponsoring today's video. So over on the Xbox, this is what dev mode looks like. Now remote access in the corner, you're going to want to copy that and paste it onto the browser, basically on a PC on the same network. Click advanced and then hit proceed. So once you're on this page here, we're going to add those applications and their APPX files. So under my games and apps, click add and then choose a file. Now I've got loads of stuff downloaded as you can see here, we've got Flycast, Duck Station, etc, etc. But we're going to install the PlayStation 2 emulator, which is this one here. So if we click open on that, then we're going to click next. Now if you did have some dependencies, this is where you would choose them, but this one doesn't have any, so we can just hit start. So that's basically going to install it on the Xbox. So if we go back over to the Xbox now, we're going to see that it's been installed under games and apps. So you could then just run this from here. But we actually need to configure the hard drive and get said BIOS and ROMs. So back over on the PC, we've got an application called Xbox Media USB version 2.2. Again, link will be in the description. Now what you do is you select your SSD or external hard drive and then click format USB and what this is going to do is going to format it, it's going to add all those permissions that you need and it's going to add some folders where we can put some stuff in. So if we right click, hit properties, go to security, you'll see all application packages. Now this is the permission that needs to be on there so that Xbox can read the hard drive. If we open it up, we have a BIOS folder. We've got a games folder, which has all different systems in. And this is where I'm going to be putting some ISOs for the PlayStation 2. So off camera, I'm going to get that stuff added and then I'm going to launch that PS2 emulator. So I've got the hard drive plugged in and I've launched the PS2 emulator. 
Now if we have a look, there's no game set up yet. So all I'm doing is I'm basically going in to the E drive, which is the USB drive, and I'm just setting it up to look in that drive for the games. As you can see here, we've got all the games set up. Now, if I try and launch one of these games, it's not actually going to do anything because we haven't told it where the BIOS files are. So if we just back out of this and then go to the settings, go to change source location for the BIOS. And I actually have got it under E drive and then PS2. And then I've just got a folder in there called BIOS. So use this directory. And then if we go to BIOS selection, we should see that I've got the European one and the USA one. I'll leave it to automatic so it can pick itself which is the best BIOS. So now if I launch Metal Slug Complete, you'll see that it's actually going to start loading now. And the PS2 emulation is amazing on the Xbox Series S and X. So as you can see, that's relatively easy. And if you follow the simple steps, you can't really go wrong. Now, of course, in the description below are going to be all the links to the software to prepare your hard disk drive. And of course, the website where you can download all the apps and emulators for the Xbox. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to provide you with any BIOS files or ROMs due to copyright and legal reasons. But I'm sure everyone knows how to use Google by now and you can find all that stuff yourself. Now, of course, if you do have any questions, that's what the comments below lower for and I'll try and help everyone the best I can. So I think I'm going to end the video here but as always if you enjoy my content do me a favour like the video smash that subscribe button and then give that bell a little tinkle so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP you've been watching Alien Gaming and I'll catch you in the next one.